this is the day. This is a very, very special day to tell all of you odd things. Some of you are already aware, but some of you may not know as to why the 27th of October annually, albeit, is a special day. Because it's the special birthday of a special man. And this special man I'm speaking of now, where you probably see now in the title, Graham the Baron Hesketh. The 27th of October, annually, is his special birthday. His birthday coincides with that of British actor John Cleese. And uh, I only just found out this time last year that Graham's birthday is the uh, 27th of October. And I can remember this time last year when there was a, um, a live stream special for his birthday, but I couldn't stay terribly long because I was planning to go out for a drink that evening, but I managed to stay for about five or ten minutes of the live stream, something like that, and um, their son Benji was over, but I don't know if Lady Faith and Brayden were over at that point, or the new Barbie and Ken, as Fiona would so describe, <laughs> you know, and all that, so there. But uh, yes, it's Graham's birthday today. We had Fiona's birthday back in April of 2024, and then it was Trevor's just shortly after Fiona's. We had Hunch's birthday just two weeks, over two weeks ago. We had Sapper's birthday back in uh, July. So, and then there was my birthday, and then there was mine in June. So we've had quite a few special birthdays um, recently to go and list throughout 2024 from start to finish for those, notably for those of us, have Fiona's on the 1st of April, Trevor's on the 4th, uh, then there's mine on the 22nd of June, and then Sapper's on the 21st of July, Hutch is on the, uh, on the 12th of October, and of course Graham's on the 27th of October. Duchess Blur, I don't know when her birthday is, I think Susie Smith is May, so include Sue for May, of, 20, of May, of her birthday, but there we are, just to share with them special notable birthdays within the Friendship YouTubing group that I feel extremely proud and happy, and I feel so privileged, fortunately privileged, to be a part of it, and I never, never, never take it for granted. I never take for granted the fact of being a part of such a tremendously terrific community Graham and Fiona generally represent, you know. I've not, I've very, very seldom seen very many communities like Graham and Fiona's. Trevor's is similar. And of course, Hutch and Mel's is similar, and Shepard's is similar. I'll beat with um, a lot of comedy and all that. And I represent something similar to Graham and Fiona whenever it comes to live streaming content. That is, as I'm, I'm referring to the live streaming side of things and all that. And obviously, there's, two, there's of course videography content and live stream content. Although mine's much more mixed variety, that is. But, um, but it's okay, we all, we all maintain. On the videography side of things, it's um, generally, by and large, quite different. But live streaming side of things, it's something fairly similarly done in common to one another. You know, I first became familiar of Graham back in May of 2023, shortly after His Majesty the King Charles III's um, coronation. I first heard from Graham on a video, which, to be honest with you, that video, I screwed it up. It really could have done with being a lot, lot better. But we conversed, we've conversed momentarily, and we got conversant almost quite deeply, as if we'd already known one another. And then within a few short days later, I heard from Graham again, and heard from him sporadically after that from this point onwards. And always, they've been fantastic times and fantastic moments whenever Graham's um, Graham and I have been conversant together, and he's been very instrumentally friendly in taking me under his wing from time to time with a lot of um, certain good advice and uh, of many things, you know, really just generally being a good friend. Graham and Fiona, they are the epitomised distinction of what true friends really should be and how they should present themselves and all that. I would certainly say that as, a distinct, as the distinctions when one could so dare describe Graham and Fiona and all the rest of things, you know. And through Graham and Fiona, I have encountered many, many wonderful people. It was through Graham and Fiona I eventually became familiar with, um, with Trevor Colt. I became familiar with Trevor Colt through Graham and Fiona. 
and uh, it was shortly after I became associated with their content. I didn't come to their content as soon as I first heard from Graham. It was only, that was within months later. And I had a tremendously wonderful time. The first time I, became, I went on the live stream, Graham and Fiona did, that very September 2023 evening, and conversed with loads of wonderful people. But one particular person who I really got quite heavily conversant with at the time, she needs no introduction, lovely lady Tony Stark. Tony, the Oaky resident, she's an Oaky lady, Tony, is a former nurse with two toy poodle dogs, as one could so describe. And we're, we are, and as Tony said to me shortly after the live, she said, since then we're fast friends, and I totally agree with her on that, you know. And what am I forgetting? We have Wally, her birthday's April, and all that, but that's another story. And, uh, <clears throat> just been careful talking of her. And, you know, yes, fantastic, you know, friendly, fantastic community Graham and Fiona represent, you know, and Graham does some fantastic explanations when it comes to flying, because he's a pilot, he's qualified pilot's license, and he's ex-military, so I have huge amount of respect for for Graham and of course Trevor, Sapper and Hutch, they're ex-military as well. So huge utmost respect to all of them for their years of service when they served in the military and all that. You know, and through Graham and Fiona, I've made some I've had the fortunate privilege of making some wonderful newfound friends, being that of lovely lady Oaky Lady Tony, Mary and Glenn, Sandra, Sandra Parrott, who's very, very popular within Graham and Fiona's community, Sandra, and uh, Sandra, of course, Mrs. Murphy, the Scottish lady, whose channel comes under is David Murphy. David was her late husband. Uh, and Rosie, the, uh, Rosie, the, the Southern lady in Alabama. Susan, Susan Reich, who means well, love, I mean, who couldn't love Su Susan, who means well, very, very nice lady, very friendly, very good to converse with, whenever, whenever one's conversant with Susan, and, uh, and who else have we got, uh, oh, she is so wonderful, I love her to bits, Graham, I love her as much as Graham and Fiona love her, she needs completely no introduction and said something so visibly moving to me one November 2023 evening, Michelle Pope in Prestatyn, North Wales, Elaine Williams in Greater London, uh, you know, and uh, Caroline Allen in Canada, lovely Caroline in Canada. Uh, Rosie, the Scots, Scots lady, Rosie, whose husband is a classic car enthusiast and belongs to a classic car club, and Catherine in Iceland, and then we got other notable additions, being that Stapper, obviously Stapper, Stephen, Stephen, obviously Stephen, uh, obviously we got him, uh, and uh, who else have we got? Uh, Susan Elkin, not to mention Susan Elkin, Maureen Howard, Maureen Howard, Maureen Ingleston, and the two Carols, Carol Casey, Carol Tapia, and uh, Marcia Toms, Mr. and Mrs. Toms, and their cats, Master Wookie, Lady Lily, and the little girl Sky, the little Westy dog of theirs, and oh goodness, Harriet in Gloucestershire, Harriet and her two cats, Willa and Alice. Not, don't forget them. Uh, Carla in Wales, lovely Carla in Wales. Oh, wonderful people, aren't they? Pamela Morrow. Oh, Pam, I love Pamela to bits. Already do I love her unconditionally. She's just so, so loving. Pamela is so loving in every way. You know, who, want, who really is the fine example of a friend who looks out for other friends in the way either a sister, in a sisterly or motherly way, to describe lovely Pamela herself. And Janet Smith, Kentucky lady, who's quite interesting, funny, but very friendly too, lovely Janet Smith, and all that. Uh, you know, lovely, lovely Janet. 
and uh, I I commented on a, a video and Janet was there and I said and she had something I agreed to a point she said it was it was hours before I was going to go live earlier this year this was so it's, and this is a fun story and then within hours later I was live Pamela and uh, Janet appeared in the live of mine in the comments I was like Janet what a lovely surprise <laughs> oh my goodness uh, Christine Prince lovely Christine Prince Trish Robson Mandy and Kev another example Mandy and Kev uh, I love, uh, oh goodness, Lisa Perch, oh Lisa, the lovingly protective lady, everybody loves and adores, Lisa Perch, uh, and uh, Sherry, Canada, Patricia Gimme, Diane Peck, uh, Denise Motley, Oh, goodness, so many to listen. Lindsay Curry, lovely Lindsay Curry. Lovely, lovely lady, Lindsay. Jodie, Jodie, oh, wonderful, wonderful Jodie. Uh, oh, my goodness, uh, so many to list out. I, I will write down a list of my wonderful friends I've encountered through Graham and Fiona, but I'll leave it at that. But... In, but there's several others, obviously after Jody, there's going to be several, several others, but a, a huge extensive list of wonderful newfound friends who I've had the privileged fortune with um, befriending and encountering, having an acquainted friendship with, as a result of encountering Graham and Fiona. So, and I cannot thank Graham and Fiona enough for it. I mean, I do not take it for granted and I appreciate it enormously in every way. And I have to say, we appreciate you, and certainly do we cherish having your acquainted friendship. Most sincerely, Graham. And another important thing to say, well done for your years of service, when you served in the army, or the armed forces, even though it was only a good three years. Even so, well done. Well done for all your years of service, despite not serving a long time. Well done all the same. I have much respect to anybody serving in the armed forces, no matter how long or how short a time they've served in. You know. And very, very, very happy birthday to you, Graham. Very happiest, many happiest of returns on your special birthday for today. And thank you. Thank you for making, to yourself and Fiona, for allowing me to walk into the wonderful confines of your finely excellent and wonderful community. That's, you know, full of, um, of friend friendliness and great, and, you know, and a grateful, um, grateful lovely bonds towards others so I cannot thank you enough I really well and truly cannot thank you enough for allowing me to walk into the wonderful confines of your community oh and another lady I encountered through Graham and Fiona Nutmeg oh Nutmeg's wonderful and she also watches my content to oneself of things you know so I cannot thank you enough Graham and Fiona I really well and truly cannot thank you enough both of you are wonderful, and you two, and despite it only being a good one year since we've become a friend, a familiar of one another, and friends, and friends with one another, I regard both of you as one of my best friends, along with Trevor too, Sapper of course, Hutch and Mel, Annabelle and Gregopedia, and Dutton Duchess Blair too. Both of you are one of my best friends as well. And some of my most wonderful friends who I'd encountered through Graham and Fiona some of my friends I've encountered through yourself and Fiona Graham have said some of the loveliest of things towards me. You know, very, very nice compliments I've received from obviously, of course, yourself and Fiona and lots of people who um, follow your content and all that. But one, there's a particular compliment which couldn't get more visibly moving than what I received one November 2023 evening. It was November of 2023, that evening, and it was Michelle Pope who commented on the video. And because I was, I valued greatly what she said and appreciated greatly what she had to say to yourself and Fiona that evening, I decided to say my piece. But I was worried I said it at a bad moment. And then Michelle subsequently replied, and she was like, why are you apologising? And this is the moving part, she said. She said, 
You are the epitome of a true gentleman, through and through, which I'd like to say is very refreshing in this day and age. I read the reply. I was in tears as I read what Michelle, Michelle Pope that is, what Michelle said to me that very evening. I was in tears as I read it because, you know, there was only one person and one person who I could only truly depict as the epitome of a true gentleman, and that was nobody other than my wonderful late grandfather Edmund. You know, and to be depicted in something, depicted as something I could only see in somebody who I loved and looked up to who so fondly throughout my childhood. You know, it's very, it has an, it's very, very visibly moving. It has a visibly moving emotional effect. I could say that from, from my heart when saying this, you know. I never once expected to be considered something I could have only ever seen in somebody who I loved and looked up to, being that of my wonderful late grandfather Edmund. No, but really, I couldn't thank Michelle enough for saying that to me, Graham and Fiona. I really couldn't. I never expected to receive something like this, and sometimes I'm even now, I still get quite emotional about it. I cannot thank Michelle enough for it. If it wasn't for months, I wouldn't say for months what it meant to me, um, to Graham and Fiona, and even Michelle, I wouldn't say to either of them for months what it meant to me receiving something like this. But after eventually telling Michelle, oh, she didn't have to, but she really, she just got very, very big hearted and really very, very lovingly, not in real life, very, very lovingly, virtually wrapped her arm around my shoulder, really take it and really took me under her wing, understanding what it's like for one to overcome loss and what, and the, the emotional effect loss can have. Though death is a natural part of life, it's always grief comes along with it. And as Mrs. Murphy so philosophically said to me, Grief is the price we pay for love, and I agree with her totally on that. You know, but, I mean, I love Michelle Pope, I really do. I mean, who couldn't love Michelle Pope? I mean, we love her dearly, I certainly love her dearly. And, uh, and also, I've had the privileged, fortunate experience of appearing on two live streams with Michelle Pope, with Graham and Fiona. And Graham and Fiona, those are some of the most valuable highlights of 2020. For when you were, when you had Michelle and I on your live streams from time to time, thank you, really, thank you greatly for having both of us on your lives at times. I couldn't thank you both enough for it, and I'm certainly looking forward to doing it again in the future, hopefully with Michelle too. You know, she makes a fantastic live stream appearance, and I could say that in every way possible. You know. But really... <sighs> Very many best wishes and very many happiest of returns and happiest of birthdays for today, Graham. Whatever it is yourself and Fiona may be getting up to later today, I really do hope it's well and truly worthwhile. With much, with a nice meal and nice drinks, as is the best way forward when celebrating one's birthday. Happy birthday, Graham. Thank you all for watching, everybody. This is the, um... 27th of October, annually, just to tell all of you, some, many of you know, but some of you won't know as of yet, it's Graham's birthday on 27th of October. Happy birthday, many happy returns, Graham. And, of course, your philosophical saying, good night, and may your God go with you. And looking forward to more future content, be it live or videography content. Happy birthday. <laughs>